In Business Analyst 9.3.1, we've greatly improved the custom report editor experience. You can still come in and you can start with standard reports and modify those to your liking, or you can just start with a blank template and add in your own fields and make it your own report completely. So here maybe I want to come in and create a general report. I like most of it, but I just want a couple items of my own to make it my own and then have my own custom report. So you can see where all the scripts are and all the formulas on the background here. Uh, you can come in and change the logo if you want, replace the image with something of your own. Uh, there's a new preview button. You can add a picture and there's new charting capabilities that you can add. You can add a map here also if, if it's supported. So make a report, also add in a map. Come in here just like in 9.3, you can change the title if you wish and report subtitles. You can come down and say for this whole entire section, I don't like it, cut it, it's gone. Go up to your BDS layers, grab a few variables, drag them right into the map. You can see the orange leaders are going to say these are active. You can drop these fields. These are exactly where they're going to go. You can see they're set up by columns, one, two, three. And you can see I'm at just saying this is going to be the pop field, I'm adding a title for households, and I'll add a title for family population. Just like using Microsoft Word, I can select the cell and say this should be bold. And then we'll make this one italic, this one italic. All the, the buttons and the tools are very much just like using Microsoft Word. If I wanted them to add a map image, I would just click map image and then I would look for that active cell again, drop it into the map, and then in this cell, the map that you're currently looking at on screen in ArcMap is going to load in. So in this cell here, I might want to add a chart. So I'll click chart, say this cell, click add, and then these are some of the new charting capabilities that are available in Business Analyst 9.3.1. So I can just grab some fields, I can drop, drag and drop them. You can see that this is going to be a sample bar chart. This is going to be something you know, similar to what's going to show up on the map. You can reorder fields, much more interactive, and this was not available at 9.3. So that's where my chart will eventually end up going. So here I just press preview, and I can take a look and see what this is going to look like. So I've got some sample charting with no data in here. I've got my map. That's where it's going to go. And then I've got my... Uh, one, three, and five mile rings. So I previewed it, uh, but let's say I want to come back and I say, you know, I want to extend this last item here, this last column. What's that going to look like? Just run on back, make it bold, click preview, and then before I've gone to a permanent report, you can see that, aha, it's dragged it over to the right. I didn't actually have to go through and create an entirely new report from start to finish, run it, and then go back and redo it. So this is bounds better than it was what that what it was in 93 in 931. So here I'll just go and I'll add a report template so I know where to grab it from once I run a report. I'll just copy paste it and that'll be my template title as well. Click finish and then I want to go in and I want to I want to make a custom report or create one for these five areas on screen, these five trade areas, but instead of using just a standard report, I want to use the custom report that I just created. So I'll come to reports. I will run a report for the single layer, for the drive time polygons I'm looking at. I could do individual features. We do a whole layer, combine them both. So it's kind of doing a dissolve and aggregation all at once or summarization. Here I'm going to use my custom report. See, it was the general report, but it's my report. I can choose to export them right to a PDF or a Word doc, or I can print them right away. I can take off the insert map image, but I do want that in there because I've added that. Click finish. So the process is going to run here, and it's going to be creating that report in the back end, and I'm going to end up with that Krista Reports Report Viewer Report. It should be exactly what I just created in this whole process. Okay, so here's my report. I've got my map image. I've got 
the start of a chart. I've got my first ring. I've got my first column, pop, household, family. Much better, much easier to use reporting engine, a, Chris, a custom report engine that what, what we had in 9.3 that's in 9.3.1.